guys! So today I am doing another fun collab, obviously cosplay inspired because you guys know I love cosplay so much. And this is a collaboration with Vic and she does really awesome cosplay tutorials and we got together, started talking about doing a collaboration. So today I am doing a look inspired by Mitsuki Nase from Kyokai no Kanata also known as Beyond the Boundary. It's a really, really fun kind of school-based anime if you really like schoolgirls and a little bit of magicalness. Um, you should definitely check it out. Um, you guys know I love anything with magic and just a really, really good anime and one of my top favorites. So I did Mitsuki and she will be doing Mirai. So definitely check it out, um, and if you guys want to know how I got this Mitsuki inspired look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off with a base, and the best base that I can say to use is one that is similar to your skin tone. So if you don't have a skin tone colored base, then just use um, concealer. And today I'm going to use my Dior Backstage Eye Primer. And it gives a really nice coverage and covers all the lovely veins. So I'm going to first start off with the brow. And it's a really kind of thin, um, typical anime eyebrow. I'm going to start with the black eyeshadow. This is the NYX Ipsy Quad, not Quad, uh, Trio. And just a matte black. And I'm going to kind of follow my natural eye brow shape, but just kind of keep going straight. The lid, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Mimosa palette. And I'm going to be using the color Skimp. And it is a similar color to my natural um, skin tone, so I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. So, after I've done that, I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Eyeliner in Mink Brown. And I'm just going to draw this little mark um, to kind of imitate a crease. Going back in with my um, mimosa palette, I'm going to be taking a mixture of Wreckage, Mushroom, and Gunmetal. Wreckage, Mushroom, and Gunmetal. And taking the same brush that I had the other eyeshadow on and kind of squish it. I'm going to put the eyeshadow on, like mix together and squish it, and then kind of go over it to also help blend it out and add more depth. Now I'm going to line my top lash line. We want the line fairly thick, but have a really small wing. Alright, and for the bottom, I'm going to line the outer and inner lash line and waterline with a nude pencil. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof uh, Coal Liner in Nude. And then I'm going to take a black and kind of add some in the very, very center. I don't want a ton because, again, we're still going for that kind of high school girl look. And then I'm going to go over top of that 
black with wreckage which is um, a darker brown so it kind of lightens it up a bit but still has that darkness and for mascara I'm using the benefit roller lash mascara you can add false lashes if you would like all right now for face we want to keep it very natural um, very of course high school girl so I'm gonna use my NYX primer it's the photo loving primer and I'm just gonna apply it on the very center of my face and blend out don't want a ton you just want a nice thin layer then for foundation I'm going to be mixing um, my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and this is in porcelain and I'm going to be mixing the City Colors Glow Complexion Illuminating Cream. This will, this mix together will give you a nice healthy glow and it won't keep you too matte. Now we definitely want to conceal because the main characters do not have any blemishes whatsoever and it makes me sick, but they don't. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use, for just regular blemishes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair. And then for underneath my eyes, because I do have the wonderfully wonderful world of dark circles, I'm going to use the NYX Dark Circle Concealer and this is in Fair Ivory. I'm going to set it. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in Alabaster. I'm using this really big puff. As for contouring, blush, highlight, all that stuff, we're going to skip the contour because, again, we're going for the very youthful high school look, so we don't want a ton of contour. Um, and she doesn't really have much color on her cheeks, but I am going to add some highlight to the face. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie highlighter, and this is in Rose Champagne Glow. Pretty much the exact same as the, um, the Hourglass Ethereal Glow, in my opinion. Mine's broken into bits, but that's okay. And I'm just going to take a big brush and kind of swirl it in. And then just apply it on my cheeks. This gives you a little bit of color and, of course, highlights the face. And I'm going to do right down the center of my face as well. Yay. And for lips, I want to keep it really nude. But I want to have a little bit of a pouty look because she does have a little bit of a pouty kind of lip. So I'm going to use a concealer for my lips. I'm just going to use the Master Conceal. And then on the very, 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 very center, I'm going to use this Buxom Lip Gloss in Berry Blast. And I'm just going to add that on the very inner, inner part my lip and now for the finishing touches and I just added a black wig this one wasn't exactly the same style because she does have a little bit of a bang in the front 
but this is as close as I have. <laughs> um, she has normally black hair, the two pieces right in the front, and then the rest is pulled back. Um, she has her ears always poked out, so I made sure mine were as well, even though I'm very self-conscious about my ears. Um, but yeah, and I put on my little Squirrel Girl shirt, and that is the completed look. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial of Mitsuki Nase from Kyokai no Kanata, um, also known as Beyond the Boundary. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy this video as well as Vic's video as well. Um, definitely check out her channel. She has some really, really cute tutorials. And my favorite is Mako because Mako is everything. Mako is life. Mako is Mako. Um, and I was really excited to get to work with another awesome YouTuber. So definitely check out her channel. All her links will be below. And you can check out her Mirai uh, inspired tutorial. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not, subscribe. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.